Hey there, what you up to now? Day 375. Well, I want to do a Summit Day 1 Soft Launch Review. Yesterday was a very, 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 very long day. And it's because of my propensity to procrastinate and put things off to the very last minute. That is why it is so important for me personally and for most of us to set deadlines and to commit to ourselves when we're going to do things. Now, I committed to myself that I was going to do a women's summit in January and I was going to launch it in January. And I'll tell you what, what an ambitious goal. I started too late thinking about it and talking about it, but not too late because it's a continuously improving process. But I didn't give myself enough time. And so last week I came up with the idea, okay, I'm going to soft launch it these three days, work out all the bugs, get feedback and work out all the kinks because it's my first time ever doing a, a summit. And then in three weeks, I'll spend three weeks, you know, promoting it, cleaning it up, making sure all the, the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed with my magnifying glass. And I might get um, some more help to, to review it and do that because it's it's a struggle for me. It's, and it's not a struggle struggle. It's like it's like a physical struggle and challenge for me. Um, it's not me just whining. It's, you know, after a certain amount of time, I, I physically cannot see anymore. So I got to figure out how to get help with those things that I need help with. Because just because I can't see doesn't mean I don't have you know, valuable things to share with the world. We all do. So day one of the summit, plugged away at the funnel, plugged away at the funnel, had so many problems and silly things because what I was trying to do was take templates from three other funnels and merge them together into one. And you may have no idea what I'm talking about when I say a funnel, but just imagine creating a website online, trying to use templates or models to, to start and do some of the, the work and then put them together, but the pieces aren't like Legos. They don't necessarily fit together. And so I had to do a lot of troubleshooting and fixing and moving and, and doing things. But I got the three pages I needed done yesterday done. Now, the funnel dead ends. I know that. The funnel is totally broken. And it's a little bit on purpose because as I'm building these pieces and components, I, I want people to have to stop so that they have to give me feedback on the process so far. And I know that's kind of selfish, but I need the feedback to make it better, to make it exactly what people want. So I already got some great feedback this morning about the copy and that, you know, they can guess what a couple of the points are. And if they can guess, then they don't care. Awesome. I love the lady that gave me this, this feedback today. And then she said, the third one's really good. So you just make the other two a little bit more like that. And then redefine this term because I'm not sure exactly what it means, but it doesn't, it means that I'm confused and a confused mind always says no. So I'm going to say, I don't know if I'm interested in this or not because I'm confused as to what the whole thing's about. So I need to think of a different way of saying that. And copy is not my thing at all. So I really appreciate any feedback I can get on anything with respect to the summit and especially copy because I don't, I don't necessarily know how to say things. Now I am a part of my own target audience. So, but I'm a different part of that because I'm, I'm at one end of the spectrum of my target audience and the people that I can help the most are at, with the summit are at a different place or all along the spectrum. And I'm only at one spot in that spectrum. So I only have one perspective. So other people giving me feedback really helps me to improve and consider other people's point of view. And that's important when we're creating something for other people, for them to, to learn and, and experience. So I did get it done. I got it. I went live about 440 something. I don't remember exactly what time, but let's say five o'clock in the afternoon. And I said, I'd be up for 24 hours. Now I've got four interviews for this summit today Four, four people that for whatever reason, we couldn't get it done ahead of time. Now I could go a couple different ways with this. I could do it live and, and record it and, and have it be part of the summit. But since it's a soft launch and I prefer not to do that, I I'm not going to. I'm just going to do the Zoom calls, and I've got uh, <clears throat> I've got already um, other women queued up. From I think I've got plenty of women in the summit. That was not a problem finding people that wanted to share their expertise with other people. Um, I I did actually have a couple people. One I know she wasn't ready to be in the summit, and that's it's always about them, right? When people say no, it's not about me. It's not about the project. It's just that it's not a fit for them right now. Totally get that. Um, I said, um, oh my goodness. <laughs> but so yesterday was a challenging day. I know today's going to be even more challenging because, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that up till at least midnight tonight. 
And depending on where I get with day two, I might even leave it up an extra day so that people can consume it and give me feedback and let me know what they like. Now I'm gonna let you know, I didn't edit the videos. The interview videos, they are not edited. They are the raw Zoom videos. And for this summit, I'm intentionally doing that. Will that annoy some people and they'll think it's unprofessional? Yep, probably, absolutely. Do I care? No, because if I waited for all of these videos to be edited because they'd have to be edited by an outside party, it would take probably at least 30 days and that is that is assuming that whoever I hired to edit it could get them edited one a day and I'm not confident that that would happen because people don't work 30 days in a row generally. Uh, and so, and it would, it would make the, the expense absolutely outrageous. My goal with this summit in selling all access passes at a discount is just to bring in enough to actually fund the next summit and to get a little help with the next summit, because I am going to be the first to admit doing a summit on your own is possible. It's really hard. And I don't think the vast majority of people could pull it off, much less pull it off decently. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm like saying that I'm awesome and I can pull it off because I will tell you what, I'm struggling my butt off trying to get all the pieces done. I don't have a logo. I don't have graphics. I don't, I decided the colors like the day before yesterday as I was doing this, the funnel for, to launch it for page one. Again, the importance of setting deadlines for ourselves and committing to ourselves that we're going to do something because had I not set the deadline and said, I'm doing this in January, I'm launching it in January, I would be pushing it off for another month and another month and another month because I wouldn't have things done yet. I wouldn't have been forced by myself and my own commitment to myself to actually get it up there and get it done. Now, it's just about, okay, yeah, it's it stinks in certain areas. Somebody told me that the, the graphics or the text cuts off. Now, I have not mobile optimized this funnel at all or this website at all. I haven't even looked at mobile and I know that I need to do that probably today for at least the pages that I have done because I look at stuff on my mobile phone and I thought I would never be the person to do that because I can't see squat without a magnifying glass. But even I pull things up on my mobile phone. So I have to mobile optimize those pages and I have to make sure that the um, that it's not cutting off, the text isn't cutting off on the website. I only, I'm going to admit, I only had time to look at it on my laptop. I didn't have time to look at it on other computers. And so... Part of my objective on this summit is to put things in place so I can have people help with those things next time. I can have people help with proofreading and looking at it ahead of time before we get it out to the public, before other people see it. But right now, I'm soft launching because I want other people to see it. I need the feedback. I need the help. I need to crowdsource the improvement, the continuous improvement of this before we, we send it out and we really share it with other women. So, day one... I actually met my commitment to myself because I did get it out. Does it kind of suck? Yeah. Is it is it actually pretty good in the areas that are important though? Yes. The the content, the interview, the what's in the interviews is incredible. There is so much value in the information that the women share about dealing with customers finding customers, getting customers, attracting their attention, connecting with them, building relationships with them understanding the importance of their experience, satisfying the customers before, during, and after the sale, continuing to follow up and have those important conversations and to, to keep front of mind of people so that they know that you exist because there are so many different businesses and different options for people nowadays that you have to find a way to when they have a problem or a situation that they need help with, they have to think of you first because if they don't think of you first, you're not going to get the business. You're not going to work with them further. Because there are so many options and the number of options and, and, and solutions available to people are growing exponentially every day. So, yes, the summit went and will today be even more challenging than yesterday? I suspect because I do not yet. At least yesterday, I had all of the, the content and the framework done. And today, I don't. Plus, I've got four interviews. So I've got four interviews, which means four hours for sure. And then tying up my computer processing those interviews. And then I've got to plug in. I've got the, I picked out the people for today for the summit. And I, all I did was put their name into the membership area. I create the membership area 
in a funnel first so that people that get the all access pass can access them. And then I create the page in the funnel for today's um, delivery of those speakers. And I do that on purpose because I want the content in the membership area to be the best. And that's where I put in the names and the headings and the titles and the, and the headlines. And I, I know those stink too, and I'll continue to improve those over time, but I need to get it done. I need to meet the commitment to myself to get it done and get feedback on it and then continually tweak and improve and make it better based on the feedback and what people want, what they want more of. So it's up, it's limping, it's scary, the funnel dead ends. And today my challenge is to figure out, and part of why I might have to leave it up longer is how do I take away access to the information what I put once I put it up there? How do I make it so that people can't get access to the page? And I think I just have to put up a, uh, this page, these are no longer available and hide them all and then just put up a pop-up or, or message or something. But that's something I need to do today. I need to figure out, okay, how do I do that? How do I now take away that information so that it's not available? <clears throat> Unless you get the all access pass, which I'm a total fan of all access passes. I like lifetime access to information because I can't always drop everything that I'm doing and spend a day consuming content, no matter how awesome it is. Now, I did do it on something called the One Funnel Away Challenge. I, and there was a 30 day, um, or actually it was a three day summit, a three day live summit that you didn't have to buy the, the all access pass, but I did. But I also made myself do the three day summit live. And I missed one day because I had to um, meet some commitments for my family. But I did the two out of three days live I'm telling you, it was hard because it was a lot of content to consume. Now, the cool thing about it and that I've adopted for this summit as well, because I liked that part of it, we tend to do what we like, done to us, is they made the speakers for the day available for like a 24-hour period. So they kept all of the speakers open so you could pick and choose and listen. Whenever it worked for you during that 24-hour period for free, you could pop in and listen to that. I'm doing the same thing with this summit because I think that's awesome. I initially thought that you'd have to be live on the calls when they were playing them on a site. And there are some summits set up that way. I just find that they're really, really hard to participate in because it means, you know, your life has to stop so that you can participate in that and you can be a part of it for free. You can always buy access, but if you want to do it for free, you have to be available when it's available. It's kind of like a television show. You have to be available when it's on. Well, you used to have to be back when I was growing up. You had to be available when it was on TV because you that was before reruns. Before reruns. Can you imagine? It was before cable. It was before TiVo and all the cool things now that you can watch what you want, when you want, wherever you want. And that's how I like my life to be. So I'm going to be busy today and tomorrow and the next few days really ramping up and tweaking and changing the summit and making sure that it's going to be an office office. An awesome experience for all the women that participate in it. Go out, be you, do what you can do today, and I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.